To make NSE4 underscore FGT 7.2 Fortinet Question NSE4 Fortio 7.2 An administrator is running the following test release command. Real Fortinet NSE4 Which three pieces of information will be included in me 7.2 test questions for preparation materials? A. Don't Interface wait to name. use our outstanding Fortinet NSE4 underscore FGT 7.2 exam questions to pass the D. essential NSE4 header underscore FGT 7.2 Fortinet NSE4 Fortinet NSE4 Fortinet NSE4 certification D. exam. Question 2. Kill test guarantees that you will be able Which to pass two the most challenging are true when Fortinet NSE4 network mode. security professional Choose NSE4 2. underscore A. FG T7.2 exam All interfaces on the first are attempt. part of the same broadcast domain. B. The existing network IP schema must be changed when installing a transparent mode. C. Static routes are required to allow traffic to the next hop. D. Fortigate forwards frames without changing the MAC address. Answer. A. D. Question 3 A network administrator is configuring a new IPSEC VPN tunnel on FortiGate. The remote peer IP address is dynamic. In addition, the remote peer does not support a dynamic DNS update service. What type of remote gateway should the administrator configure on FortiGate for the new IPSEC VPN tunnel to work? A. Static IP address B. Dial-up user C. Dynamic DNS D. Pre-shared key Answer. B. Question 4. What is the limitation of using a URL list and application control on the same firewall policy, in NGFW policy-based mode? A. It limits the scope of application control to the browser-based technology category only. B. It limits the scope of application control to scan application traffic based on application category only. C. It limits the scope of application control to scan application traffic using parent signatures only. D. It limits the scope of application control to scan application traffic on DNS protocol only. Answer. B. Question 5. Which CLI command allows administrators to troubleshoot layer 2 issues, such as an IP address conflict? A. Get system status. B. Get system performance status. C. Diagnose SYS top. D. Get system ARP. Answer. D. Question 6. Which two attributes are required on a certificate so it can be used as a CA certificate on SSL inspection? Choose 2. A. The key usage extension must be set to key cert sign. B. The common name on the subject field must use a wildcard name. C. The issuer must be a public CA. D. The CA extension must be set to true. Answer. A. D. Question 7. In which two ways can RPF checking be disabled? Choose 2. A. Enable anti-replay in firewall policy. B. Disable the RPF check at the FortiGate interface level for the source check. C. Enable asymmetric routing. D. Disable strict ARC check under system settings. Answer. C. D. Question 8. An administrator does not want to report the logon events of service accounts to FortiGate. What setting on the collector agent is required to achieve this? A. 
Add the support of NTLM authentication. B. Add user accounts to Active Directory, AD. C. Add user accounts to the FortiGate group fitter. D. Add user accounts to the ignore user list. Answer. D. Question 9. Which statement about video filtering on FortiGate is true? A. Full SSL inspection is not required. B. It is available only on a proxy based firewall policy. C. It inspects video files hosted on file sharing services. D. Video filtering FortiGuard categories are based on web filter FortiGuard categories. Answer. B. Question 10. Why does FortiGate keep TCP sessions in the session table for some seconds even after both sides, client and server, have terminated the session? A. To remove the NAT operation. B. To generate logs. C. To finish any inspection operations. D. To allow for out-of-order packets that could arrive after the fin. ACK packets. Answer. D.